Hi friends! Recently I published a video in which I showed a circuit of powerful portable charger or a power bank for mobile phones. This video is a second part of this topic. The link to the first part is in the description. There are also links to the purchase of the components that are needed for the assembly of this device. Today we will do tests to understand what the circuit is capable of. We will assemble all and talk about the charger. Let's start with the batteries. Here are 8 cans of 18650 standard. All are taken from laptop accumulators. To install batteries, I bought special holders on AliExpress. Cans could be welded, but holder is convenient because batteries can be removed, diagnosed and quickly replaced in case of problems. All banks are connected in parallel, so finally, we get a battery of 3.7 volts and 16 amperes hour. Such an assembly can be safely discharged with a current of 16 amperes. For a short time, up to 30 to 35 amperes. Let's quickly mount all and start the tests. These 3.7 volts rise to the required 5 volt with the converter board, which we made in the first part. The board has two components that are needed to be installed on a small heatsink. In principle, if you will use the circuit on the current less than 2 amperes, the radiator isn't needed. By the way, the substrates of these components must necessarily be isolated from the heatsink. Plastic sleeves and insulating heat conducting pads are used for this purpose. Do you dislike how looking of your dye electronics projects? You can order for them factory printed circuit boards. They are now more accessible than ever. The site GLCPCB offers the making of printed circuit boards for only $2 per 10 pieces with free shipping on the first order. Printed circuit boards are manufactured according to your Gerber files in the shortest possible time. Boards could be of any shape, color, size and complexity of industrial quality. A link to GLCPCB website can be found in the description. To protect the battery from deep discharge, recharging and short circuit is used a protection board of 12 amperes. This board is also homemade. In the description will be found a link to the video with the assembly process and explanation of the work. I advise you to study it. The current consumption of the converter board without an output load was 30 mA. Now let's look what our converter can do. Before load connection, I remind you that we will have losses on wires and measuring equipment, so the real power is greater than we will get. The load will be passive, it is a nichrome spiral. At the output current a little more than 4 amperes, everything is normal. There is a drawdown of the output voltage which is related to the previously indicated losses. During these tests, the power elements of the circuit were without a radiator, so I didn't test for a long time. By the way, the current can be easily raised to 5 amperes. In this case, the diameter of the winding of the choke should be above 2 mm. Now we will measure the efficiency at an output current of 1 and 2 amperes. The output is loaded with an electronic load to the input is a watt meter connected. At a current of 1 ampere we have this. And this is with an output current of 2 amperes. 
The main problem is how to charge such a power bank, since the battery capacity is 16 amperes hour. You can stick here a charge board like TP4056, but its current is only 1 ampere. You will have to wait 16 hours or more to fully charge it. It isn't convenient. In one of my videos, I show the charger circuit on the TP4056 chips with a 3 ampere current. Link to this video will be found in the description. Each chip is designed for a current of 1 ampere, but here the circuit is for a current of 8 amperes. The advantage of this circuit is in the fact that the process of charge is produced by a stable current and voltage, and also there is an indication. It can be said that the process is fully automated. These feeds from any 5 volt source that can provide the appropriate current. The computer power supply feeds perfectly for this purpose. Almost every unit on the 5 volt bus can give currents of 10 amperes or more. In the future, I intend to assemble a separate power supply specifically for charging this power bank. Friends, I remind you that in the description under this video, you can download the archive with all the circuits and PCB. Also, in the description, you will find links to all the necessary components for assembling this monster and much more. Don't forget to subscribe to my group in Facebook. The link is under the description. Now I have to say goodbye. Have a nice day. With you was Kaisan TV.